Is this just another bank trying to improve the working environment for junior employees because they feel bad about their work-life balance, or is it really banks trying to stop their most important asset from walking out the door? Yeah, I mean, look, that kind of story about the working environment with people at home, I feel like that's kind of how it started earlier this year. Of course, we had that Goldman Sachs memo that everybody was talking about. But, Matt, I think you're really right. I mean, when you look at the level that UBS is paying for this one-time bonus, so if you're an analyst, now you're going to get this $40,000 bonus once you become an associate. As you say, it's double what some of the rivals were paying. But, of course, Matt, their competition isn't just with the rivals. I mean, I think that this is really saying to their junior bankers, stick with us, get to the next level of associate. Don't leave us to go to a hedge fund or private equity fund or even a tech firm uh, because there is all this competition out there uh, given all of the changes people are looking at and maybe it partially is because of the environment it is to work with so this is going to be about 30 percent of their base annual salary that's what sources familiar tell us so again that just goes to emphasize how big of a bonus this is now of course UBS is looking at cutting costs and job cuts are expected in that as well but of course uh, on the younger employee side they are trying to retain their bankers and if they're paying them more perhaps this is just another story that also hints to this more macro story of inflation and wage inflation as well.